those 417 power punch connects now rank number two all time among heavyweights in fights scored by CompuBox. In fact, only Muhammad Ali is given credit by CompuBox for having landed more power punches in a fight than did Gomez among heavyweights. Yes, Larry? CompuBox uh, counts anything that isn't a jab as a power punch. Correct. Anything uh, that's not a jab is called I a power would, punch. I would suggest that a lot of those so-called power punches had very little power in them. They were just punches for points. Well, CompuBox says only, by way of explanation, that the punch was not a jab, it was an uppercut, it was a hook, it was a cross or a body shot, and that's what they call power punches. The distinction is it's not a jab, as Larry said. Now, 90 to 95 percent of the time, the activity that is measured by CompuBox uh, comes up with the winner. It tracks the winner. The winner normally throws more and lands more. 5% or so of the time, it doesn't. And we have seen that 5% come up a couple of times in the last few weeks. Mark your calendars. Wednesday night at 10 p.m., tune in to Emmy Award winning Inside the NFL, hosted by Bob Costas, Chris Collinsworth, Dan Marino, and Chris Carter for exclusive NFL film highlights and unique features every Wednesday night. Wednesday night at 8 p.m., tune in to Legendary Nights, the tale of Holmes Cooney, one of the most socially significant heavyweight fights in history. November 1, lightweight champion Floyd Mayweather faces Philip Indu, and a featherweight unification fight between Derek Gaynor and Juan Manuel Marquez. And later that same night, we bring you Roy Jones Jr., outside the ring, inside the fighter, a behind-the-scenes look at Roy as he prepared to fight John Ruiz last March. A look at the big spill up at Niagara, about 45 minutes drive from here. Many, many